Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I need a moment to be finally got my holy grail, holy grail, holy grail, holy grail, holy grail bag. And oh my gosh, I am so excited. Can't breathe. <laughs> it's so hot. I can't breathe. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Amy. Let's not beat around the bushes. We have a very exciting, very unexpected unboxing today. I can't wait to share it with you guys, but I just have to interrupt this quickly because I want to shout out to my very good friend here on YouTube, LV Lover CC, also known as Karis. This is one of her beautiful dresses that she designed in collaboration with Lily Silk, and it's just absolutely stunning. This dress is so pretty, so romantic, and it's so her, and I love it. There's so many details, and yet it's so comfortable. You guys i love clothes that allow me to eat you can tie it up right here or you can just leave it open as a v-neck which i prefer i love a good v-neck shoulders have a little bit of ruching the sleeves are so pretty and so princessy i love to just have one button open she has two versions of this dress one that is a midi length a little bit longer and this one is the shorter length which has the two-tier skirt this soft white color is so good for the summer and it's not see-through you guys it's really really nice you guys will really enjoy it congrats karis i'm so proud of you great dress um and honestly i probably need it in more than just the white color at this point have this dress linked down below please give karis some love and check them out they're so pretty of course you can also use my coupon code amyc12 to save 12 percent at checkout i'm also going to be wearing this dress throughout my vacation that is upcoming so can't wait to take a lot of photographs with it it's so pretty so um okay moving on to the unboxing by the size of the box i'm sure a lot of you know what it is and also those of you who follow my h journey the hermes journey would know that my wish list is you know bkc's of course i think everyone's wish lists are like that but very specifically this bag for me is very high up even though i didn't work on it as my first bag because it is so incredibly hard to get one of these so are you guys ready <laughs> I'm so excited and by the way guys i want you guys to just guess the combination because i'm sure you know what this bag this size box is pretty much a dead giveaway of what it is <laughs> so i just want you guys to guess the combo i had zero idea that i'm gonna be getting this combo because because it is that hard to get one here in vancouver so i did not even have any requirements i just wanted any combo i'll take any combo almost not really literally but i'll take almost any combo and this is literally the best of the best i could not have asked anything better than this are you guys ready <laughs> okay it's just a desk bag i know i'm getting way too excited but for a good reason make sure you put your guesses in the comment section i want to see all your guesses okay because those of you who know me i'm guessing that you would guess black <laughs> which i love a black bag but i also love a white bag because i don't have any white bags yet but like i said i didn't give any any specs at all just because i know how hard they are to come by so as long as it's a color that i like as long as i don't dislike the color i am ready to accept anyway let's just say that i did not expect this combo are you ready are you ready <laughs> to reveal my very first oh it's so cute oh my goodness guys you guys are gonna die my very first ladies and gentlemen <laughs> miss mini kelly in gold epsom and gold hardware what <laughs> It's so pretty. Apparently this combo, according to my friends, is one of the most holy grail combos out there. I can totally understand. I was ready to accept like a red bag, a pink bag, even a, a green bag, even like a blue bag to, to, to a certain extent, right? As long as it's a pretty blue. I was ready to accept sort of like a more random color rather than a neutral. I was also ready to accept another black bag, even though I have so many black LMS bags already, but it turned out to be a gold on gold, which is like, are you serious? Am I dreaming? 
anyway this is what they had and i am so glad that i'm able to get this right before my vacation so i can get a lot of use out of it right away it will match with so many things obviously it will match with a light color outfit such as the one i am wearing today or a dark color outfit because gold on gold is literally the dream combo it's the most versatile combo you can ever ask for <laughs> fun fact the mini kelly does not come with a raincoat because it's so small i suppose if you're wearing a jacket yourself you can probably just kind of like hide it and you can protect the bag pretty well so i'm not even concerned about not having any raincoats for a mini kelly and i do wonder why they don't provide a raincoat just because it is a quota bag now uh, maybe in the past it wasn't a quota bag but it is for sure a quota bag now and the spend ratio for a mini kelly is, is, is ridiculously high so um i i wish they would provide a raincoat although i don't care if they don't because um, it's so small anyway. Maybe that's their reasoning. So um, the straps, they come in their own little dust bag as well because I've already tried it in store. I already removed the stickers on the clasp. Let me give you a 360 before we undress her. And um, with a gold color leather, usually it does come with contrast stitching. It's not always the case, but usually it is i am the one who always encourages you to remove your stickers which i know it is a little hard to do especially when it's brand spanking new and you're just getting to know your bags but we will remove the stickers together because i'm not one to really leave them on of course it goes without saying that with any of my hermes bags i only trust and use some morga organizers i know this is so tiny right it's so cute i personally prefer the one millimeter because the one millimeter felt is their lightest felt it provides great protection for the inside of your bag and it still provides a little bit of structure it's not completely unstructured even for my birkin 25 obviously with a cellier bag it is already structured so you don't have to worry about not giving it enough structure even with your insert but with my Birkin 25, it's so small of a bag and I store it properly and everything. Um, I still use the one millimeter. It's lightweight. It still has great structure, but it's not so structured and so hardy that it will create creases on your bag, which is why um, it's kind of important for like a softer leather like Togo. And to be honest, if you store your bags properly after each use and you clean the hardware and you just, you know, tuck it, in properly and everything it'll stay in great shape for so so long so that's my preference i always go for the one millimeter felt which is what i've done here with the mini kelly i know what you're thinking already is that why would you even need an organizer for such a tiny little bag that barely even fits your phone no you don't need it but i just like to have one because like i said it protects the inside of your bag especially when you're traveling or if you're really using your bag a ton and you just want to be a little bit more carefree with the interior because guys the interior of this bag is in swift it's very soft i'm sure it's still durable but if i can avoid any spillage or accidents then i will inside pockets which will also help with your organization especially with this bag i'm not gonna bring a wallet i'm just gonna stick my cards inside these pockets and probably stick some uh, cash inside the the one pocket that's inside the the mini kelly already so there's one pocket at the back you're not gonna be carrying a ton with this bag anyway trust me you really are not so this is my phone inside keys almost full but still room i'm kind of the queen of tetris when it comes to nano bags or mini bags i really am i'm gonna go ahead and put a hand sanitizer which is a tiny little one this is um just a little bottle that i bought from daiso and it's gonna stand up inside the bag because there's no other room other than standing up a lipstick yeah if it's card and some money and like i said i'm gonna put that inside the slip pocket my card is in the slip pocket of the organizer and it's pretty full but you know technically if you don't close your bag you can fit even more stuff my basia has this stuff in here it really fits a lot there now it's really really full you probably 
will have a very hard time closing it and I don't want to force it but I will take out the Bastia because like I said this is bare minimum I've got my phone my card my money keys lipstick and hand sanitizer and I know that I can close this just have to really press into this part here because you you guys know how like the mini Kelly closure is quite fussy in a way so you just have to like do that and then and then close it so it's fine it doesn't look bad and you still can close it obviously it takes a little bit more maneuvering you definitely have to press it down to close it but hey guys for a mini bag it fits a ton and the mini kelly is known for its light especially in Epsom. Epsom is quite light and that's what I love about this bag and that's why I've been dreaming about getting this bag, waiting for it for ages. I've been wanting this since I've started my journey but obviously I knew that it was very very hard to get a mini Kelly as your first bag so that's why I didn't even think about it. I just thought I will take my time. This is a journey, you know. I'm, I also needed a Birkin and a Kelly, you know, so I knew that it was just a matter of time so finally I got it on my third year <laughs> so what do I work on next a Constance maybe I don't know we'll see because I am really into different leather colors uh, especially because everything I have is basically black you know all my non quarter bags are non black but all my quarter bags are black so I'm glad that this is my first quarter bag that is not black <laughs> but as you can see it fits a ton and even with the organizer, it's it's perfectly fine in there. If you are interested in any organizers, it doesn't have to be this one, then you can use my coupon code AMY20 to save 20% at checkout. They also have different accessories such as chains and add-ons. So for any of their organizers, you can add on different features. Right now they have like the drawstring add-on, which is so cool. You guys should check that out if you have bags that are open and you want extra security, you should get that. Oh my gosh, I am literally sweating like a pig because it's so hot guys and we have no AC and I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying because I didn't like the video that I did um, with the Q&A with the fan on. So excuse my super sweaty face, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. I have to stand up for you guys. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love this bag. It's so tiny. Luckily, I do have an iPhone mini 13, so it does fit. But I know that it's one of the big struggles and one of the biggest cons for a lot of people because their phones with the cases on is quite hard to fit inside. I'm so, so happy. I'm so glad that it is in my life. Finally, of course, there are more things that I bought from Hermes in terms of, you know, the whole pre-spend thing. I definitely did my fair share of shopping even since the last video. I um, bought some more stuff, you know, uh, that's... The nature of this whole journey and being a big fan of the company oh we forgot we have to do the the whole sticker removal let's do it oh my goodness exciting right okay let's do the feet first because those feet ones are so tiny it's literally so hard to even see that they're there but definitely should not forget your feet as well there you have it so tiny oh my gosh i don't even know where it went <laughs> see how shiny it is after you remove it versus when you don't remove it and like i said guys it's really up to you if you want if you remove your stickers or not no one's gonna force you but the problem with leaving them on is that over time they do stick to the hardware if you're lucky maybe nothing happens because you probably still removed it um on time but if you're really unlucky and you know one of two things can happen it could stick to your hardware and there's going to be that residue on the hardware that you can't take out so you, the, your hardware will no longer be shiny like this when you try to remove it by then when it's too late the other thing that can happen is that it could have trapped moisture underneath the sticker and it creates oxidation and oxidation creates tarnishing it would have been such a shame because you could have removed those stickers a long time ago so that is why i always 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 recommend that you guys do it right away look how shiny that is and yes it will get it will get all scratched up of course it will 
Don't forget the underneath here. So important. Just like your skin, you get wear and tear from, you know, aging and whatnot. Would you rather have that, like wrinkles and lines on your face, rather than rather than um, I don't know a rash from having something on your face all the time? You know what I mean? So. See, that's the difference between removed and not removed. The trick is also that um, after each use, you definitely want to wipe your hardware. Look at that. Gorgeous. I have a dedicated little microfiber. So this is a Dior sunglass microfiber. And I wipe my hardware every time I um, finish using it for that day. Plus the hardware being being shiny you're just gonna enjoy it so much more because it's gonna look so much prettier i love it it's so pretty so now two more left huh the little arms the little um sangles they are probably the place that will get one of the most scratches like i said it's better to have scratches than to have the other problems such as tarnishing Ooh, so sexy. This is the last one, guys. So freaking tiny that. <laughs> I hope that it's focusing on it because. There. Last one. And she is ready. Oh my gosh. It's so. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. It's so pretty without the stickers. Oh. Wow, it's it's so shiny, guys. It's literally wow. Wow, wow, wow. So shiny. Even the feet. Super shiny. I'm not kidding, guys. It's so hot. I have to keep dabbing my face. <laughs> it's really hot. I'm really committed to filming this video without a fan because I want you guys to hear my voice. Even though journeys can be very difficult, as long as you keep at it and as long as you truly love the brand, which I am, then dreams can happen. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Now I want, you know what I want now? I want another one, but in dual color. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that would be so crazy. But anyway, I will just enjoy this one for the time being. I will get a lot of use out of it, especially during my vacation. You might be interested in my previous unboxing, which is also an Hermes. Very surprised unboxing that I got as well. It was also a wishlist item, so I'm gonna have it linked in the screen right now. You can just click on either one of the videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in that video. Bye.